Hi guys and welcome to Carflix. Today I'm going to be doing an auto solo, something I've never done before. So I'm going to walk you around what we do and I'm going to see how I get on. So the first thing you do when you get here, you get a number. Uh, that's why I've got A54 there. You can probably hear all the race cars in the background. It's, it's awesome. So many nice cars here. I'll probably have a walk around and show you around some of the cars. But yeah, I've, I've put um, A54. That's my number that you get given. And now I'm just about to walk around one of the circuits. There's four circuits and you have to walk around them um, and just complete the course as fast as you can. So I'm going to walk around it and show you one of the tracks. So this is your starting point here and you basically go around the track so for instance here there's a you follow the numbers so number one there and it tells you to go right so you go right through this section here and you keep left through this point here left as we're out here i've actually just noticed this bad boy just sat here doing off it's uh, an old mark 4 um astra i used to have a coupe version of one of these such a shame that it's just been left like this i wonder what the story is with this that's mental a lot of wiring going on in there dog hairs quite cool though just having something sat here like this So I was doing a bit of a walk around some of the cars that are taking place. We've got an EP3, which is completely stripped out. Wow, completely stripped out, full work cased out. We've got an old, uh, it's like an ST here. Uh, he's got bucket seats in that. We've got a Renault Sport Clear, I really like these things. We've got a Cooper S, we've got a lot of 172s. These seem to be really good. We've got the RCZ. And I've actually spotted another RCZ over there, which is one of the Marshalls cars, actually. So really nice to see another RCZ here. Um, we've got a TTS, that'll be, that's a Quattro, so I'm guessing that'll do really well. Same year as mine as well. Really good condition. This is supposed to be really fast, it's MX-5 here, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Loads more MX-5s we've got here. We've even got a Lotus Elise here as well, looks really nice. Look at that, a 205 19 GTI, beautiful. Uh, and also, we've got another 172, and that mini is supposed to be really quick. But yeah, I'm just about to do the race meeting. I'm here with the Cambridge Car Club, and it's really interesting to see how we get on. Yeah, we're just about to have the, uh, the briefing now. So the chap's just been round, he's just checking the exhausts, making sure that they're not too loud. Obviously mine's a standard exhaust, so it, it passed with flying colours. So we're just waiting in line now just to start the course. If you're enjoying this video so far, why not consider liking and subscribing? Hi guys, so I've done a full morning of auto solo. I would say on reflection, it is quite technical. There's four different courses and you make one mistake and they'll fail you on the course. Uh, but I'm just doing it for fun, so I don't really care. I'm not being competitive or anything. I'm just seeing what the RCZ can do. But it's quite apparent that a lot of the cars around here, a lot of the cars are like um, MX-5s, um, 
uh, well, they're mainly MX-5s, um, but they're really, really quick around these tracks because it's, it's just designed for them. Uh, whereas the RC's head just ain't designed for this kind of stuff because it's very tight corners. So all the cars that are getting really, really good times are the cars that are like really light and nimble. So I'd say the RC's head is more suited to something like maybe the track. It seems that way because obviously it's quite wide. Um, it's got right wide track is standard, um, and yeah, you'll probably find you'd have to make a lot of modifications to the RCZ to make it good at auto. So look, it's, it's you're in first gear all the time, uh, and you never really get out of first gear really. Um, but yeah, um, it's still a lot of fun. Uh, you'll never be able to drive like this on normal road. So yeah, give it a go. I mean, it only cost me 42 quid, so why not? So now we're just walking around the track because what they do now is they flip the track around. So they, I think they change from anti-clockwise to clockwise. So let's see if we do any better. I mean, I did it the first time around and I've missed a load of gates. Uh, maybe I'm better in the other direction. I don't know, but it's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. So consider it. So I've just had a perfect video opportunity compared to gorgeous French cars. Look at this. RCZ Alpine. After a full day of auto so I have to say I had really good fun. I actually finished last, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's about the taking part and the having fun. And I met some really nice people along the way as well. Would I do it again? Probably yes. I'd do it in, again, but maybe in a different car because I don't think the RCZ is just nimble enough for little tight corners like this. I think the RCZ is definitely more suited to the track. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye for now.